The sport was removed from the last two Summer Olympics, but softball is making a comeback in 2020. A former Longhorn star and softball coach at Texas State University, Kat Osterman, has decided to come out of retirement to rewrite the end of her Olympic story. And she invited me to her home over the holidays to talk about her journey to Tokyo. Same thing. Most of her neighbors know by now, Kat Osterman is training for something huge. Good break. Even her husband is pitching in to help her prepare for her third and final Olympics. A goal off the go. was not an option. After losing to Japan in the 2008 gold medal game in Beijing, and then having to sit on the sidelines for London and Rio because the sport was removed. It was gut-wrenching gut not to have a chance to be there because someone else took us out. Not because we didn't qualify, but because our sport was taken out. When softball was voted back in for 2020, Osterman, who had retired from the game, was asked to be one of the coaches. If I were 100% happy with how the, the career, the book ended, then I would have been okay coaching. She is a softball coach at Texas State University, but deep down, what she really wanted to do was play. <sighs> one more. Osterman spent a year working out and getting her more than 60 mile per hour pitches back where they needed to be and then tried out for Team USA. But that's the first time I've cried seeing my name on a, on a roster. Um, I screamed I made it, hugged him in the kitchen and just started crying because it was just, it, I mean for the first time in my life probably a dream come true. The next big moment, making the Olympic team. Her support system is even bigger now. Osterman's time away from the sport allowed her to find a love other than softball. She's now a wife and a stepmom. I want her to see what hard work looks like. I want her to see what how you get success from that hard work and how you continue to build on that. Osterman's family will be in Tokyo to see if she can add more gold to her collection. That was such a cool day for me. Osterman will be 37 years old when she takes the mound in Tokyo. And to prepare for the Olympics, she and her teammates will be playing in a series of games across the U.S. called the Stand Beside Her Tour. And Robert, unfortunately, there's not a game in Austin. The closest is Dallas and Sugar Land in April. In other Olympic news, Simone Biles may have some stiff competition from a gymnast turned reporter who lives right here in Austin. Check out this tumbling pass. Tokyo 2020. Woo! <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it! Oh, so I lost my cool a little bit there in, in the end. But in case you can't tell, that's me. Two Mondays ago, Robert said, hey, you said you can All do right. it by handspring. Let's see it. Tokyo All right, there you go. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You still got it. I do. I'm a little sore today. I did that, uh, I think it was Saturday. I taped that uh, for just for you and Need Sydney. Sign you here. up for the Olympics right now. <laughs>